Boom, all right. Okay, these are the three secrets that your utility company does not want you to know. And as soon as I point it out and you see exactly what I'm talking about, the light bulb's gonna go on and you're like, aha, they did not want me to know that. And in fact, it is true. Here's secret number one. The utility companies buy solar at three cents and they sell it to us at 12 to 21 cents a unit. Did you realize that? The utilities companies, they discovered the same thing that we all know. Solar's here, it's more affordable, it does a better job in getting low cost power to us as the consumer. And so what they've done is they are buying power from solar and feeding it directly into your home. So whether you know that you've got solar or not, you've got solar, you're consuming it. The difference is, is if we drop solar directly on your house, we can have a three cent conversation. And then if we continue to do it the old model, then we're gonna have a 12 to 21 cent conversation. That's how it is. The other sneak attack that they're gonna do is, as time goes on, they're gonna continue to do rate increases and so that 12 to 21 cents will actually continue to step up. But if you had solar, solar doesn't care about inflation or anything. So we can have a three cent conversation instead of having this crazy conversation up here. Secret number two, have you noticed that the gas prices have dropped from around $3.50 a gallon to around $2.20 a gallon and your power bill did not go down? The utility companies do not get all of their power as of yet from solar. They're moving that way. So they consume fossil fuels. Fossil fuels is what causes the power. They take and turn around and sell the power to you. The gas prices used to be up in the $5 range, five, four, whatever. It's now down into the $2, but have you seen a drop in your utility bill? No, that's a sneak attack. That's the secret of having a monopoly. And in fact, if you go look at your bills, your bills never go down. They actually continue to go up. They'll say that it's very expensive to operate a utility company. Therefore, it's gotta have a monopoly, right? It's gotta have a monopoly. It's gotta have a monopoly. The last time I checked, drilling for oil, having the refineries, processing it, and getting it all the way from there, all the way to your house, was also expensive. And they do not have a monopoly. And as a result, you see some decreases in prices. The monopoly is what allows them to continue to hold prices steady in spite of the fact that costs have come down. You can source solar at three cents, cost of fuels come down and it's not getting passed on to you. Secret number three, block charging. You take and you go pop out your electric bill, you're going to see this. This is a sneak attack. What I mean is, is in life, whenever you go out and you start buying products or commodities, the more you buy, the better the price you expect, right? That's how the world works. If I'm gonna buy 100 of those things versus 10, I expect a 100 discount. That is how the world works, but it is not how the utility company works. They do this thing that's called block charging. What that means is as we consume more, they will increase the price and increase the price and increase the price and increase the price. I'm not talking about just your bill going up. I'm talking about the price per unit will continue to increase through their block charges. That is how you get a 12 cents to 21 cents per kilowatt hour rate on your bill. This is a sneak attack, it's crazy. I had a, an experience recently where this stuff kind of came to a head a little bit. If you've been looking, I've been putting ads out there and I've got this ad with a bull. The bull is sitting there and he's got this farmer back there trying to milk him. So the big little bill bulls over here getting milked, right? And his eyes pop because he can't milk a bull. <laughs> That's the problem. And he, he's very aware of it. And I said, is your utility company milking you? And I went through and I started detailing out some of these facts. And this guy started getting a little bit excited. And I was like, what is this guy's beef, man? Why do you have such a major objection when I bring the light to the truths that I'm sharing right here? So I'm like, what the heck? Clicked on the dude's profile. He is the director of Provo Power which explains why he got all excited. I was like, ah, so I called him out on him. I can see, I can see your objection to solar because you are the director at Provo Power. And I said, that's okay. Because when your paycheck is tied to a thing that probably needs the chains, people typically get territorial and pretty concerned. I understand that. I had a friend of mine who he was a senior engineer at Rocky Mountain Power, worked there for a long time. As soon as he retired and his paycheck was no longer tied to the fact that he had to go into work and look at his coworkers, he put solar on his house. He's like, dude, I know what's going on. I know how things are evolving. I know how things are changing. He goes, I'm not gonna pay. 
he's gonna step into an environment where he'll find himself in a fixed income. Therefore, why would he want to whittle down his future? Government gives you a 1% cost of living raise and inflation's way in excess of that. He's like, why would I participate in that? I'm not gonna do it. Like I've gotta protect us, right? Him and his family. And I was a little bit surprised. He came out and he accidentally disclosed some of these things and he confirmed your suspicion that he bought over 80 megawatts of power at solar at three cents. They sold it back to the consumers at 12 cents. You got solar whether you know it or not. The difference is he's got the middleman position. We could just say, just go straight to the source. I mean, they went here, they went and bought solar to feed it here, to feed it to you. Well, my word, you take this, just put it directly on your house, boom. Solve the problem. No longer participating in the middleman squeeze. The cost of the stuff's gone way down. Let's start having three cent conversations instead of 12 to 21 cents. Does that make sense? Anyway, you can go to my website, AskSolarMike.com. You can learn more about this. Happy to help. You can send me a DM, happy to help. Like I don't know exactly how much money you're spending on your power. What I do know is, is rate increases continue to go up and we put solar on your house over a 30 year window, you're probably gonna save somewhere between 50 to 100,000 bucks. What I'm talking is, is it's a significant amount of money because we put it on, it's less than you're paying now, it pays off, you check out. I don't care anymore. Anyway, check it out, go to my uh, webpage, asksolarmike.com. Later.